Okay, so hello fam. It's been a while, I know. So I just want to try out something new. I want to see if I can uh, bring you up to date news, um, current news or developing news in respect to the car industry. So this is a, this is just a test run. So whatever views you have, just put in the comment the comment section and tell me what you think about. It. What, what do you think about this this new this new show or something? Um, so over last week, within last week. Um, a small company known as SSC um, took the crown as producing the fastest production car ever. It, the this this speed this speed um, this speed title used to be held by the Quinnipiac Quinnipiac uh, Agera RS. Quinnipiac Agera uh, Quinnipiac SSC Pagani, all those other companies are kind of they're kind of small. They they're not. I don't say they are small with respect to their status or their name, their name but like with respect to the amount of cars they produce, they're not as big as the Toyotas or the Ford or yes, they are well known, but they don't produce cars in mass production. Not saying mass production is a bad thing, but with respect to the numbers. So SSC, as of last week, broke the um, broke the world uh, the world record of the fastest production car. It used to be held by the like I said before, the Quinnipiac Agera RS. Now, the the car in question is the 2020 SSC Tuatara, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, now, the Tuatara, as of last week, clocked a top speed of uh, 331 miles per hour. If you convert it to kilometers per hour, that's about 532, let's say 533. Now, that's a lot of speed. So. Um, let me see if I can get to the speed run for you to see. Uh, it's fully, fully gani gani. So, uh, I think I'll go back, show the POV or the point of view from the car itself. Now, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, hopefully, the phone doesn't mess, mess up. So, before, while the video is loading, I just want to see the specs. So now, the, now the Tuatara is actually a 5.9 liter V8 twin turbo. Um, yeah, 5.9 V8 twin turbo. And as I said, it's got a top speed of um, 532.93 kilometers per hour. Now, they also, that's the top speed. It has an average speed of uh, 316.11 miles, miles per hour. If you convert that to kilometers per hour, that's 508.7 kilometers per hour. Now, the average speed is, with respect to these kind of tests, they take the car in one direction, they take the car in one direction, test the top speed, take the car in, a, in the opposite direction, so they go, they go in this direction once, come in back in this direction once and take the average speed. Now, I don't understand why my network is messing up. Oh, actually, I had to connect it because it's too. Forgive, forgive, forgive. So, hopefully, once the video starts, you get uh, you get what exactly I'm talking about. Now, um, quick one. I did a calculation. Now, the Akratono motorway is actually I checked the car. The Akratono motorway is actually 19 kilometers per hour. Hey, that's 90 90, <laughs> 90 kilometers. Yeah, same old, 90 kilometers per hour. So if I, I did the calculation, okay, here's the point. Here's the the view from inside the cockpit of the car when we're doing a test. Now I did the calculation, and if the car maybe coming from Tema should reach the tow booth, which is the, the Tema tow booth, which is the, we, we consider as the beginning of the motorway, and then hit hit the hit the tow booth at top speed, it will take. Uh, one hundred and twenty-eight point three four seven seconds to complete the entire Tama motorway. So that's about two minutes at top speed. Now we've all passed it. We've all got, we've all used the Tama motorway, and it takes quite some time. So right now we are looking at the the video for the the test run, and it's already climbing up to about three hundred. And the video just started. It's just it's just been it's just been like forty-eight. About 50 seconds already is hitting. It's going past 300, 300 kilometers per hour. So if you can see, this is the value, the speed in 
Um, Twin Touch by RM, this is it's in the R. As you can see, driving 400. It's going to be hit its top speed very, 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 very soon. It's amazing. Now you may be wondering why we need cars that move this quickly. Now, when we are able to read these speeds, every scientific breakthrough, every scientific um, yeah, this is this this is the top speed, and I think it starts uh, slowing down. Any scientific breakthrough or advancement has been made at the fringes of what we know. So the more you push, the more you understand what to do. So like this, you'll be able to develop more efficient brakes more efficient fuel systems, more efficient cooling because at this at high speeds like this you'll be making a lot of revs a lot of revs which is a lot of heat so yeah it's it pushes our boundaries to what we know and it's it's it to check it down to the customers eventually not now but eventually when new cars come they might use the science behind all of this to make better cars for us so that is the speed run for the Twatara it's an amazing car hopefully when you get one you buy me one edition so we are done with that. Um, so, yeah, first, move from here. so we move from the Twatara. Yep. And now we are in other news. GMC, which is the parent company of uh, a lot of cars. But in, in this case, we are talking about Hummer. So GMC just released just release the details for their new their new uh, Hummer vehicle which is a Hummer pickup which is a Hummer EV it's a fully electric um, pickup it's a, Hummer. a fully electric Hummer pickup and it has some nice features so right now Hummer has also entered the free, free of electric cars are going off-road so like for example like you see I'll show you in a bit uh, Cybertruck which a lot of people have come Pumped up for when it came out, it was it was a lot of news because it consists of bulletproof glass, reinforced steel body, so it's really meant for the adults and it actually looks like something out of um, a Mad Max, a Mad Max movie. So you can see the the rest of the cyber truck, and then apart from that, Rivian, Rivian also has this R1T pickup, which is also all electric. As you can see from here, it also looks wonderful. So the future is actually really good with respect to EVs. Uh, it might take a, I don't know how long it will take to get down here, but yeah. So, so Hama has also uh, jumped into onto the EV, the, uh, the EV sector with the Hama EV. Now the Hama EV, uh, which will be available apparently next year, the initial production will be available next year by this time, like that's for 2021. And uh, for the Hummer, it contains features like uh, apparently it has four wheel steering, four PU steering, and has a feature that's called the crab walk. Now, with this, it allows the car to move diagonally. So, let's see, instead of going straight, it will move um, forward and right at the same time. So, it will be going in this direction. So, let me see if I can get to the crab walk video that, that's actually on. YouTube travel. I don't own anything. I don't own any of these videos, any of these pictures. So, YouTube. <laughs> so, hopefully, we can see. So, that's I want one for. Come on, I should look at this a long time ago. How about my machine? If you can actually see this. 37, 13 years. So this is the uh, four wheel, four wheel steering. Okay. Yeah. So that's SB Hummer EV. So yeah, so this will be available in. This should the initial production or the first of it should be available next year by this time. Um, so for anyone who is a Hammer fan, because we have a lot of the, the big ballers in Ghana, you know themselves, who are interested in Hammer, they should start buying these. Yeah, so uh, yes, it also it also has an estimated output of uh, a thousand horsepower. So that's 
apparently our own song on par with the Lotus Evija Evija I hope I'm pronouncing it right Evija which is also an, an um, which is also a fully electric sports car that produces a thousand horsepower a thousand horsepower I'm sorry so let me quickly see if I can find the picture of Evija Lotus Evija <coughs> So yes, this is a look pretty well. Okay, I can get a picture for you to see it. So it's also fully electric and it has an output of a thousand horsepower. So that's all for now. This is the Cybertruck, the R1T, uh, and the Hammer EV, and last but not the least, the well I've actually not shown the pictures of the SSC to attack. This is so you get a look of what I'm talking about. So this is the Totara. Amazing. This is actually when they hit this. This is from behind. <coughs> this is during the speed test. So you really looking good. It's really looking good. It's really looking good. So that's all for now. Um, you can check up on these. This is the server truck. So that's all for now. I'll be dropping a few videos very very soon. So yeah, just subscribe and click on the notification bell to get all the updates. Thank you very much. We out.